the mathematics video number one. Um, this particular content will be suitable to 10 year olds to um, 110 year olds. Um, um, before we start, you need a piece of paper, you need a pencil, and also you need to watch this video. There's something called the square of a number, which most of you know is taking a number and multiplying it by itself. For instance, 5 squared would be 25, 6 squared would be 36, 73 squared would be something else. Yeah, so 5 or 6 with it. But what I'm going to try and do is to square in my head three two-digit numbers faster than they can do on their calculators, even using the shortcut method. What I'll ask is three people, how about in the third row here, one, two, three, each yell out a two-digit number, and if you would square the first one, the second, and the third one, I will try and race you to the answer. So quickly, a two-digit number, please. 24, great, next. What was that? 98, and one, one more. 26, would you call out your answers, please? 576, 9604, 676, give them a round of applause. So he clearly has special mathematical skills. However, we should be able to mimic some parts of his magic. So what we need is to use the area model uh, multiplication. If you have not seen the video, how to do area model of multiplication, I'll leave, have a link over here so you can have a look. So what he's doing is he's squaring the number and he's finding answers straight away. So let's try 12 times 12. We write like this 12 squared. So with the square or area model, 10 and a 2, 10 plus 2 is 12. So imagine you have 12 dots. There are 12 rows of 12 dots. So in this square here, we have 10 rows of 10 dots. 10 times 10 is 100. In a little skinny box here, I have two dots and I have 10 rows of them. So I have two times 10, which is 20. Here, I have 10 dots here, but there are two rows. So 20 again. Two rows of two dots, there are four dots in here. So if we have put them all together, I have 144 dots. So 12 times 12 is 144. Using your paper and a pencil, can you try 13 squared? 13 times 13. Let's pause the video. So 13 times 13 is 169. There is 100. There's 30, 30, and a 9 there, right? So let's practice one time. I'll have 20. 3 times 23. So this is 23 squared, right? And the 20 rows of 20 dots. So 20 times 20 is 400. Three dots here and 20 rows. So there are 60 dots here and 60 dots here. Have you realized it? These two will be always the same numbers because it's 3 times 20, 20 times 3. Then the last part is 3 times 3 is 9. So I have 400. That's 120 together. Then the 9 is 552. Now, we're trying to do this in our head just like the mathematician. So we want to make a little mathematic here. So our goal is to hear the question and you draw this in the heads and you come up with a number, right? So first step is we actually write 23, 23, write these numbers 
and write the answers of each box. Then we can add them together, right? Let's have less steps. So, we're going to have, let's practice. We'll prepare this box. We're not going to write any numbers in there, but we're going to start writing numbers. 20 times 20 is, should be 400. This is 20 times three, that's 60. This is also 60, right? So I can write 60, 60, or I can just write 120. Then last number is three times three, that's nine. Then that is 529. Right, so let's practice that. I'm going to give you a new number. So let's try 34. Wait. So this time you're going to write 34, 34. We're not going to write anything in there. Write the numbers you came up with and you're going to add them in your head. So let's pause it here. So 34, 30 times 30 is 900, 30 times 4 is 120, means this will be 122, so that's 240, and then 4 times 4 will be 16, so my answer is going to be 1156. How are you going? We're going to have even less steps. This time, we're not going to write anything here. So we're going to have a blank square, but we're going to write the numbers next to it. Are you ready? We did 34, let's try 35. 35 squared. So let's pause the video. You're not going to write anything here but you write the numbers and you got, are going to add these numbers in your head. So let's practice 35 squared. <clears throat> so ready, this is 30, this is five, 13 and five. So this is 30 times 30, that means 900. This part is three times 50, no it's not, 30 times five. That's 150, this is also 150. Add them together will be 300. This should be five times five, which is 25. If I can do this in my, do this in my head, that's 1,225, right? We get in there, aren't we? So let's see how much. So I'll give you another number. Let's try to do that again. So I'm going to give you, hmm, how about we use 25? 25 squared. Now, if you need to write 25, 25, and then sort it out, you can do that. Or, you can just look at the squares, write the answers in each box, but on the side of it, then you just add them in your head. Or you can just look at the square, pretend you're writing down these numbers in the box, boxes, not writing next to it, but in your head and add them together. See if you can do that. So let's pause the video, try 25 times 25. Twenty-five square. Four hundred. Plus 
3 times 4, that's 80, that's 80, 160, 400, 160, so the 560 plus 16, 4, 4 to 16, 576. Let's try it again. See, 20 and a 4. I'll write it for you. 20 and a 4. So I have 400. This is 80. This is 80. This is 160. 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 576. How did you go? Now, some of you have been successful. Some of you may have made some mistakes, which is okay. So, I'm going to try, how do I do 40s? 43 squared. Let's see if we can do this. Just looking at the squares, or square. Or, you write down the answers of each box. Then add them together in your head. Let's see. Let's pause the video. Forty times forty is here. That's one thousand six hundred. One hundred sixty. One thousand six hundred. This is forty times three, so that's one hundred twenty. Add them together, will be two hundred forty. And this will be 9. So, how did you go? I'll quickly write it for you. That's 1,600. 120, 120, so 240. And this will be 9. If you write these numbers, it's a lot easier, isn't it? 9, 4, 8, 1. 1,849. Now, this is the Alfred test. Ready? I'm going to give you a question. See if you can do this without these boxes for the area model. So, I'll give you a slightly easier number. So, I'm going to give you, how about we start with 42 squared. So, let's pause the video and see if you can do this without the box, without the area model. The actual drawing or you can try one more time looking at the area model box and see how it goes how did you go so 4040 this is 1600 this is 80 this is also 80 so it's 160 Good to practice in your head now. 1760 plus 2 times 2 is 4. So 1764 was the answer. So, ready? Let's try with a slightly larger number 54 squared. Maybe you can try for 073 squared. Have you realized I'm using smaller numbers in the units? Because that's a lot easier. I'm going to give you a harder one. 37 squared. See if you can practice doing this. Maybe you start using the area model um, drawing. You can practice and practice. See if you can do this even in your head without drawing these area model boxes. So then you can become a mathematician and it doesn't take a long time to train your brain. So good luck.